Do you like her? I'm having a conversation. Yes or no? You just asked me out and you like her. I'm not hitting on her. I'm just trying so to be You tried to tell me today that you'd like to have a goal. Two days! Two days! It's disrespectful for her to be sitting over there like a goddamn mug. Yeah, but you don't even know what I've said. You don't even know what I've said. That's not the point. You don't even know what I've said. That's not the point. You don't even know what Oh my goodness, so just a moment. We'll get all the reaction on that from ex-Islander Michael, who was dumped from the show on Sunday. And what would you have to? First date. First date. <laughs> if somebody comes in that's genuinely, like, well better suited to me than Amber is, why would I, why would I put myself out? So I've decided to recouple. You never really allowed me to open up to you because you didn't really think. open up to me. Right. <laughs> I am so happy now that you're here mm. and that we're moving forwards. I like you. Joanna, it's time for you to say your goodbyes. He said to her, I'm not, not going for her, but he never said he was going to leave. I'm basically just letting you know that, yeah, I do still like you. And Michael is with us now. Oh, where to start? This must feel terribly surreal for you. Have you kind of burst the bubble as yet? Do you feel like you're home? Not yet. I yeah. haven't actually gotten back to Liverpool yet. So right. I'm actually looking forward to getting back home. And I want to just thank everyone from Liverpool for all the support they've given me throughout the whole time I've been out there. Yeah, yeah. It's been amazing. A lot of back in. Right. Well, you've had a few days to reflect. Mm -hmm. uh, how do you feel now about your villa experience? It has been probably the best experience I've had so far and I wouldn't actually change any of it. Like I've made friends for life and some family as well. You, when you see things like you just, you can't help but get involved. Like people think, oh, you can't get involved in everything. But like, that's just me. I like to help people when I can. Mm -hmm. um, so it's just, it's quite hard not to get involved. So you haven't had a chance to watch <clears throat> anything back so far? No. Well, I'll. I'll ask you firstly about last night's mm -hmm. uh, and before I ask about everything else what did you make of what has happened between Jordan and Anna from our perspective you're thinking I'm thinking they were in the bottom three yeah. I think Jordan stepped aside and gone do you know what maybe people don't like us or maybe people don't like you Anna. Yeah, yeah, yeah. so I'm going to try and protect myself and move on I mean is he stupid or what's going on in his head I really don't know what's going on in Jordan's head, to be honest. Um, Did he even hint any of this to, to you before no, the past no, week no. or so? Because, no, you know, we, he was loved up two days ago with yeah, a girlfriend. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Like, uh, we spoke about, like, the whole getting into a relationship Jordan and Villa, and me, Anton and Jordan all sat, that, sat around and was like, it's not really the best idea to do because you don't really know if you're going to work on the outside. Um, and then Jordan's gone ahead and done it. We did. We did. We always backed him for it. Like we respect. We respected. So you did his think decision. there was a little doubt, maybe. I, not in Jordan's mind, because mm. everything he's, he kind of came in, went for Anna, and that was his kind of his his mission. He wanted to get Anna, um, and it just seems like he's had a bit of head loss, and he stumbled at the first step. Would you have recommended speaking out? No. What would you have told? I'd, I'd have been like, you need to think about what you're going to do before you actually act on it, because mm -hmm. if if you're not sure speak to Anna, because mm -hmm. you need to see if you can clear things up with her um, and then move forward from there. Because if it's not going to work, then let her know. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it was just an explosive argument, wasn't it? It was. It was almost awkward to watch. And I went off. <laughs> it did, it properly went off. And I'm guessing when you're in there, it's, it's even more in intensified. But going back to all of your kind of mm -hmm. your history now then, the whole Amber, Joanna thing, where is your head at at the moment? Um, me and Amber have made, made up, we're really good friends, so I'm happy that we left things the way we did. Mm -hmm. um, and then with Joanna, I haven't actually, I've only seen her after Sun, so I am looking to have a nice little sit down conversation with her when we can. Yeah. Because we've not, neither of us have really been. But not to anymore. have a relationship. I mean, she said that she doesn't want to. Yeah, I've, I've heard that she said that. We've spoken about everything, and I just really want to sit down and speak to her about everything, because right now, she's not really got any kind of clarity on it. She's seen mm -hmm. what she's seen on TV, but I want to kind of expand on yeah. it. Yeah, so she has seen what we have seen and basically <clears throat> it did look like yeah, yeah. all of a sudden you thought, oh, I quite like Amber again. <laughs> yeah. So did that mean that you did have feelings for her the entire time? Did have feelings for her, those feelings don't turn off, but then when once I did kind of go back to explore it, I did quickly realise that it was the friendship that I was missing with Amber because we did have such a great friendship, like we bounced off each other so much that it was that side of it that I was missing. 
and um, I'm happy that I actually got to clarify that with Amber mm -hmm. and we left on such a good note. Yeah, but Greg didn't have an effect? No. Greg really and truly? Really and truly. Greg so when she was effect. kissing him in the bed and we saw you looking over and all that <laughs> sort of stuff. You know what the funny thing was? I was actually looking at Francesca because that room's so dark. <laughs> You can't actually see anything. Yeah, yeah, you just Michael. Hear it. <laughs> <laughs> but no, Greg is genuinely a lovely lad, yeah. and I've heard he's gone home for bereavement reasons. I, I did read that actually. Yeah, yeah um, so, um, so I would like to send like love to his family. No, so, like course. I'm thinking about him. He yeah. is a lovely lad, and we did actually get on in the villa. Mm -hmm. but, he um, comes across very nice. Yeah, he is. He's a genuinely lovely lad. Who would you like to win? But who do you think will win? <laughs> or is it the same? I would like everyone to win because they're all my friends and family but i think tommy and molly have got it in the bag yeah yeah yeah, yeah. And, and i, I mean the, the headline episode just the other night <clears throat> sort of trying to hint to the fact that lots of people online are not really believing this they're not believing in molly may i think more than anything what yeah. are your views on that do you think they're real together or is it the best act for 50 grand we've ever seen i think they are quite real together like tommy is absolutely besotted with molly like <laughs> For such a big guy, he's got he's such, such a soft heart. Oh. Like he's genuinely a lovely lad. Yeah, I, I, I really think he is. I have to say, I think he really probably loves her. Yeah, no, he does, hundred percent. Yeah, like we we missed him in the villa because he spent that much time with Molly. Like he'd come and sit with us for like five minutes and then he'd be off with Molly. Uh huh. But like yeah. you can see it in his eyes that he's he's fully into her. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Are you going to go back to being a firefighter or? I would like you... to at some point, but I haven't even been home, so I haven't even spoken to work. Um, as trying to get back in now. I, I've had people from work send me messages and stuff like that, yeah. but I haven't had time to kind of answer the phone or reply to anything because I'm trying to be meeting with agents and stuff like that. It's been ridiculously busy My over the past goodness. few days. Well, you have loved it though, haven't yeah. you? For all the intensity and yeah. for all of the headlines and everything else, it's been worth it. It's been a great experience. Okay, <laughs> well, look, you, you've made the series so far, but then Jordan went and stopped you last night, didn't he? Yeah, well, he took all the heat <laughs> He did, he definitely did. Well, well, I don't need to tell you, but Love Island's on, of course, tonight at 9pm on ITV2. Great to see you, Michael. Thank, thank you, you for coming in. Thank you very much.